Thank you, Kate. Merry Christmas, everybody. Uh, and Hanukkah's still going on. Uh, my school teacher, Brother Wade, about four years ago, had a Japanese American kid in his class. It integrated the class because of 31 black kids. This is in Detroit. And within a day, he realized that the Japanese American kid was head and shoulders over all of the black children. The Japanese American kid had gone to preschool at age two and a half. He'd uh, taken after school, after daycare school classes language to learn how to spell and read. And then he went to a private kindergarten. Michigan doesn't have kindergarten, so parents paid for him to go to a private kindergarten. He came to my brother's classroom with three and a half years of school. The 31 black kids came with zero years of school. How do you ever catch up when that is how you start? So in Chicago, Stanford professor has looked at 11,000 school districts, 11,000, almost every single one of them, including Providence including Central Falls, including Little Compton. And what he found is that Chicago was the best for inner city children. In fact, it was the best for any children. And two thirds of Chicago is low income children. Providence is probably three fourths low income children. Are you with me? Chicago's number one out of 11,000 districts. I want to tell you a couple things Chicago is doing. And I'm hoping some listeners, viewers, will go and see if we can do a few of these. School leadership is stable. You don't have a new superintendent, a new principal every two years. The students read junior great books. They read. They have extended school days. No high school students leave at 1.45 like they do here. They have bountiful school choirs. Choirs! <laughs> Did you hear that? Uh, they, it, they, it's a tool. Uh, they have farmer's markets seven times a year. Every student puts his, her hands in dirt. Uh, they have uh, expanded preschool. Who would have thought it? just like the Japanese American kid in Detroit. Preschool, they have outside speakers, judges, astronauts, lawyers, and even new media executives. You know, if we did this here, uh, Josh Fenton would have to go in public schools five times a year and tell them how Go Local works. Now that's what they have, and we don't. What's my big idea? Go take a look at Chicago. They've been on the rise for five years, and we're not. I think it's a sin against children to miseducate them, to undereducate them. I think it's a sin not to give teachers every resource they need in order that five years from now, we could be like Chicago. Merry Christmas. Thank you.